From 1889 to 1939, Fresno had a light rail system connecting most of the city. Originally pulled by horses and electrified in 1901, the Fresno light rail system provided affordable transport throughout Fresno and to several outlying communities. Despite having been replaced by buses in 1939 because of much public outcry that Fresno was still using old-fashioned streetcars, the light rail system has left its mark on the city streets that have been forever changed by the rail system. Today the remnants of the light rail system can be seen in inexplicable islands that seemingly appear randomly in commercial as well as residential areas. Streets become one way, stop and start at inconvenient times, and wherever the light rail system encountered railroad tracks, you find underpasses. Many roads have wide parkways that continue for miles, and after particularly heavy rainstorms, you can still feel the remnants of rotting railroad ties under the grass in some areas. In many poor parts of town, the railroad tracks actually stick up from the dirt in several places. Because Fresno streets from this era had to accommodate both streetcars and other traffic, many were built incredibly wide. Today many quiet neighborhoods have streets that seem almost as wide as interstate highways. Until recently, this meant that the city crammed three or four lanes of traffic, as well as an area for parking cars on the street, but recently they have been giving some of this space back to bicyclists. As we move into the 21st century, and Fresno tries to live down its reputation as a place where people's needs come second to cars, it can seem tragic to see how we had it so right in the past. When researching this, I came across several anecdotal accounts that the larger Fresno population tried to get the streetcars back ten years after they demanded their removal. Whether this is true or not, I don't know. But the removal does mark Fresno's change from an urban to suburban community, a change that lasts to this day.